there was a huge panic in the city. Now, thick ash was falling. Flames were everywhere. After Kykelius and his friends entered the city, they made for the house. But the journey was difficult, because there were many Pompeians filling the streets. However, Kykelius hurried bravely through the streets. Now the cloud stopped. Suddenly, Helius shouted, You are in the house! I don't feel well! <laughs> Hermans carried Julius to the nearest temple. You did an excellent thing. You did an excellent thing, Caecilius said to the slave. You served Julius, I promise to free you. Then Caecilius left from the temple and hurried to the house. Clemens stayed with Julius in the temple. However, Elius recovered his, con his consciousness. Where are we? he asked. We are safe, the slave replied to Julius. The goddess Isis will save us. After the ground fell, I carried you to this temple. My master was hurrying to the house with my clothes. Oh no, my kid is stupid, shouted Julius. Metella and Quintus are dead without doubt. I am hurrying as quickly as possible from the city. Do you want to come with me? No, friend, replied Julius. I am searching for my master. Now the, black... now the black cloud came down to the ground. Thick ash was falling. Most of the Pompeians were now in despair in the streets. Clemens, however, wasn't in despair, but stubbornly made for the house because he was searching for Caecilius. Finally, he saw the ruins. The whole house was on fire. Clemens saw smoke everywhere. He bravely hurried through the ruins and called to his master. Caecilius, however, didn't respond. Suddenly, a dog barked. The servant entered the study where the dog was. Kerberos was guarding his master. Caecilius was lying almost dead in the story. Caecilius was lying almost half dead in the story. The wall almost half collapsed on him. Clemens gave wine to his master. Caecilius, after drinking the wine, slowly recovered. What happened, master? Asked Clemens. <laughs> I came to the house, said Caecilius. I didn't see Metella. I didn't see Quintus. The house was deserted. Then I hurried to the study. Suddenly, the ground shook and the wall fell down on me. You are a loyal servant. Go. I order you to. My life is in despair. Metella and Quintus have died. This means I'm also going to die. Clemens refused. He stubbornly remained in the study. Caecilius shouted again, Clemens, go! I order you to. Perhaps Quintus has survived. Look for Quintus. Give this ring to Quintus. Caecilius, after he handed the ring to Clemens, died at once. Clemens sadly said goodbye to his master and left from the house. Kerberos, however, remained in the house. He guarded his master in vain. I was hurrying to your farm, Clemens said to his master. I wrote a letter to the bailiff. After the bailiff had read the letter, we examined the farm and slaves. Suddenly, we heard loud noises. We sensed tremors. Then I saw the mountain and saw a strange cloud. Why did you tell me this? asked Julius. We made for the city because we were very afraid, replied Clemens. After I entered the city, I heard loud shouts. Many Pompeians were rushing through the streets. Women and children hurried through the street. Sons and daughters were searching for parents. I arrived at our house where Teller and Quintus were staying. Quintus sent me to you because we were all terrified. Caecilius hurried to the city. She was worried. Julius and Clemens also hurried to the city. There was a huge crowd filling the streets because Pompeians were hurrying to their homes. Near the city, Holoconius was watching. Holoconius was with a slave rushing to the harbour. Why are you hurry to the city? Why did you not hurry to the harbour? asked Holoconius. I'm hurrying to my house, Caecilius responded. I am searching for Metella and Quintus. Have you seen Metella? Have you seen Quintus? Oh no, shouted Holoconius. I have a splendid house. In my house are beautiful statues and precious paintings. That terrible mountain will destroy my house. All the statues will be broken. But friend, you have not seen my wife, asked Caecilius. I do not know Metella. I do not care. 
scoundrel, shouted Caecilius. You only lost your house. I lost my wife. Caecilius, after he cursed Clemens, hurried to the city. God. Ta. <laughs> Oh, my God.